John 20 is a good news chapter. It tells of Jesus' resurrection and the things that happened immediately afterwards. And I want you to notice the chronology here. In verse 1, it says that now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark, and she saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. This was Sunday, and the disciples noticed that Jesus is not in the tomb. Jesus appears to Mary, and she tells the disciples about the resurrection. Then in verse 19, it says that on the evening of that day, Sunday, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. I love that greeting. Peace be with you. So that evening, Jesus appears to them. He breathes on them to receive life by the Holy Spirit and commissions them to share the gospel of forgiveness. And I think there's a connection here between peace be with you and the gospel of forgiveness. That would be a topic for another one. So I'll just leave it there. But notice here now in verse 26 that eight days later, Jesus came again and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. This was eight days later. He shows up again. So the question is, what was Jesus doing in those eight days? Well, the answer is in verse 30. It says that now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. Of course, John there is referring to all the miracles that Jesus did during his earthly ministry, not just what he did on those eight days. But it stand to, stands to reason that if that's what Jesus was doing in his earthly ministry, why would he do anything differently in those eight days between the day of the resurrection and the day he comes to his disciples again? Jesus was going about healing people. This is how I heard him say it. I am in the business of healing and saving people. I don't have to wait for my disciples to do it. Does it seem strange that I'm still appearing to people like in Muslim nations? I'm not limited to what the church can do. I myself am building the church. So notice this, Jesus, after the resurrection, commissions his disciples. He tells them to receive the Holy Spirit and then to go wait in Jerusalem until they are endued with power from on high so that we can continue with his ministry. But Jesus himself, is continuing his ministry as well. Jesus has delegated us, he's invited us into partnership with him, but he's not limited to what we do for him or what we do with him. Jesus himself is building his church. Now this gives me great courage because there are many places that I would think are sort of out of range for the church. There are places that the church maybe dare not go, places too dark where we think it's impossible for the church to penetrate and do something. But Jesus himself is working. Just recently, the Lord, I was having a conversation with the Lord about this. And he said, do you think there's any place too dark that I can't get my work done in there? Do you think the enemy is so powerful that he can keep me from working wherever I want to work? Well, think about that. There's no place too dark for Jesus to work in. There's no place too remote for Jesus to work in. Even if the church is not present in a situation, Jesus is there himself building up the church. Maybe you're facing a situation that just seems absolutely impossible, absolutely outside of God's reach. But be encouraged in this. Jesus is still carrying on with his ministry. The same ministry that he did while he was physically on earth, he continues to do. He's still in the business of healing people. He's still in the business of saving people. He's still in the business of restoring people. And he'll do it through the church when we partner with him, but he can do it in so many other ways. So, Father, I pray for those situations that seem impossible for us, those situations needing rescue that we think are so far removed. I thank you that you are still working. I thank you, Jesus, that you are still ministering, that you are still doing what you do, that you are still healing, that you are still saving. And we say yes and amen. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth in every inch of the earth as it is in heaven. We invite you to do it and we partner with you even in prayer for you to do what you want to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.